Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of What to Eat. Today we're at Asaka Potatoes in Fremont, California. We looked up on Yelp since we were in the area and we stumbled upon this restaurant. It's more than potatoes, they also have specialty drinks, snacks, and some uh, rice plates and uh, bento boxes. So uh, kick back and relax, let's uh, try some of these foods. So this uh, restaurant originated in the Andes region in South America and uh, now they have 17 restaurants across the world. They have one in Fremont. So if you're ever in the area, come check this place out. Let's uh, start out with the appetizer. First, we're gonna try the Spam Musubi, the Hot Cheetos version. Let's take a look. The rice is coated in Hot Cheetos and has a slice of Spam. Let's see if this is hot. Mmm, that's very unique. Aside from the hot Cheetos, there's a, like a mayonnaise type of glaze inside. So it's a mixture of sweetness and saltiness and spice. I really like that one. Next, we're gonna try the fried shomai. Comes in uh, six big pieces on top of uh, cabbage. They provide us a sweet chili sauce. But let's try out and see how it is without the sauce. Wow, that is very good. perfectly made shomai. Reminds me of the Japanese version and it has a nice uh, piece of shrimp inside. You top it off with some teriyaki sauce on top. That is superb, really good. Perfectly cooked. Man, that is mind-blowing, guys. That's a hit. Next, we're gonna try some of this popcorn chicken. So this is a very popular snack when you go to boba places. But let's see if it's up to par. Pretty decent portion for this restaurant.
very very juicy chicken right there and I love the crispiness of the popcorn chicken not hard at all that MSG is kicking though really good next on the list is uh, waffle fries it's a uh, garlic and onion waffle fries and you can see a bit of parsley on top look at that pretty big piece right there cheers this one is a bit on the well done side and I'm trying to taste the onion and garlic but it tastes plain to me right now this one doesn't stand out just your regular fried potatoes next is the takoyaki this is your traditional uh, Japanese snack it consists of uh, the octopus in a sweet batter and with a little glaze at the top oh there you go this looks really really nice mm. very soft and a decent amount of octopus inside so creamy inside solid solid snack you can really taste the smokiness of the octopus like it's been grilled for a couple minutes it's a nice balance of the smokiness the saltiness and the sweetness in this snack right here right now I need to cleanse my palate because I'm tasting all of this sweet and salty and uh, smoky flavors we need to get a little bit of this sweetness we ordered ubi frap with pearls this drink is kind of what got me uh, interested at this restaurant because I'm a big uh, ubi lover so let's try it out pretty strong ubi flavor looks like they have ubi uh, bits at the top and like little malt ball type uh, ube gives it a nice crunch at the end oh that's very refreshing the next drink that we ordered is the brown sugar pearl latte with a creme brulee at the top that is a uber rich milk flavor and it's really nice caramel at the top oh man I like that one for our third drink we ordered the blue ocean sparkling refresher it has a nice blue color at the bottom I actually don't know what drink this is so I'm pretty excited to try it out it sort of has a sprite type feel to it it's very citrusy and uh, lemony so it is a nice ref refreshing drink oh man that's something different than a soda so if you're not feeling for boba drinks that one is a nice drink to try out for our main entree we ordered the steak and fried shrimp uh, bento box as you can see there's nice uh, nicely uh, nicely portioned uh, steak fried three fried shrimps some rice with a little bit of nori at the top and some uh, salad and it looks like the sauce that they provide is also a sweet chili sauce for the fried shrimp first I'll try the fried shrimp it's a nice butterfly cut right there nice and crispy and flavorful guys the steak looks like it's nicely cooked 
has some uh, some type of glaze at the top and some sesame seeds and green onions. Very, very tender. It almost feels like it's cured. I think the steak lacks a little bit of flavor. It's not really depth. It's a decent steak. It's nothing that uh, I was expecting. It's more of a sweet steak with a sweet sauce on it. Not what I'm expecting. I usually like something like salt and pepper uh, with a grilled steak, but this one's okay. For our dessert, we tried the egg egghead, I, I think it's called, which is basically a purple yam waffle. So it's, as you can see, the waffle is pretty big, almost the size of my head, maybe bigger. So let's try this out. Has some nice uh, purple yam in each each uh, waffle. I love purple yam, but the flavor is kind of minimal. Kind of had a. I kind of wish I had a ice cream to go along with this, because by itself it's kind of lacking. Good snack to share with friends, as it's a pretty big portion. Overall, the restaurant had a lot of options from drinks to rice plates, rice bowls, and various uh, snacks. Uh, I look at this restaurant more of a drink place and the snacks. The, ri the rice plate wasn't that uh, good to be honest. The steak lacked flavor. Uh, the only thing that was good was the fried shrimp. From the snacks, the things that really stood out to me were the fried shomai and the popcorn chicken. Those were nice and juicy and the shomai was definitely out of this world. So that one is a must try when you go here. The Overall, I'd probably rate this restaurant a 7.3. Although the snacks are really good, uh, don't come here on an empty stomach as it's pretty pricey. Mm -hmm.